would I rather lose weight and it'd be hard or would I rather just keep gaining weight and it'd be hard it's it's an easy question but it's easier said than done but I want to try I want to do this and it's just it needs to happen I'm 22 years old I'm gonna be 23 in December <laughs> um I just I can't keep going the wrong route I can't I can't I can't it's not that I want you here. I'm actually starving. You you ain't starved. Ain't nothing about you starved. <laughs> I'm so much better than the majority of you. Hello. I will never copyright a reaction channel. I will never, ever strike down a compilation of me because I don't care. My name is Amber Lynn and I wanted to start um, a YouTube channel for weight loss. It's just something I'm really, really interested in doing. I've been on a weight loss, weight loss journey for a very, very long time now. Today was nothing but eating horrible. Last time I weighed in was I think about a week ago. I was at 368 or something like that. I'm probably a little higher now. I'll be weighing in tomorrow and I can make a video stating my weigh in. This will be my first weigh in on this channel. I was right on point. I was 368.0. But just to clarify that my highest was 420, so I've lost 52 pounds. Um, at one point I was 331, so it was a lot more weight loss but I did gain um it happens I just want it to stop <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about my weight loss a lot <laughs> I did mention yesterday that I was gonna be dancing as my exercise for this whole week I will be doing 15 minutes of dancing every day um I feel like it's better than nothing and it's a start but my friend on Facebook who also is on YouTube she's wonderful and a huge inspiration she posted that she's doing a squat challenge for 30 days and when I saw that I was like oh my gosh that'd be perfect so I'm actually gonna do that so last week I said that I wanted to eat 1700 calories every day without going over I'm actually gonna do a calorie limit of 1700 calories I said that I wanted to be down three pounds and that I want to do my squat challenge every single day. Now, I'm going to tell you if I succeeded in those things or if I didn't and why. For the 1700 calorie thing, I did not succeed in that at all. Um, the first night, I couldn't even do it. I plan to only eat 1700 calories for this week, every day. Besides Thanksgiving, and I already messed up. And today's only the first day. It was... It was pathetic. I have to say that. It's pathetic. Oh, I honestly don't know what to do. Like... I just don't know what to do. I keep turning to food for whatever reason. <sighs> so I did not complete that goal. Squat challenge every single day. And today was day one and I did it. I started my squat challenge and I expected to finish it. But I had to stop. I did post a video about it. Um, it has to do with my back. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post it down below. Um, last night, I felt a little bit of pain and I'm like, no, like, I can't go through this again. <sighs> as much as I don't want to say this, I think I'm going to have to stop the squat challenge. Honestly, <sighs> I don't want to say I'm giving up. I just can't let this happen to me again. And if you have watched that video, then you understand why I could not follow through on my squats. Which I want to do so badly. I'm sure you all know that by now. I hate exercising. I, I want to be one of those people who love to exercise, but 
no I hate it I hate it I try to find things that I love doing and exercise but I just hate it so much <laughs> that's just how I feel next thing am I down three pounds from last week last week I weighed in at 368.0 um, I did not come close to losing three pounds. This week has been my most indulgent binging week I have ever had. I'm going to attach another video to this one about what I had for breakfast because I wanted to share. <laughs> so this is what I'm having for breakfast. It's a bagel thins for 110 calories. And this is in it. Whipped peanut butter and chocolate mint. I love mint. I know this is probably not the healthiest thing, but. And for a serving of this is two tablespoons for 150 calories. So this came out to 260 calories. I want to blame it on Thanksgiving. I feel like Thanksgiving comes once a year. There are 365 days of a year, obviously. Um, there's only a few holidays where we get all these good dishes, good meals, good company. Um, so my question for myself is, would I rather feel down in the dumps all day because I'm actually sitting there counting calories all day long while everyone else is just kind of enjoying themselves? Or would I rather be happy, enjoy my day, don't count calories, but know that the next day I'm back to doing what... I need to do. I feel like how am I gonna get back on track tomorrow if I already messed up? I kind of feel like I already ruined my week. I want to blame it on the food that was in this house. So we have some cooking going on right now. These are the best green beans ever. There's ham hock in there. Yup. Wait. She's pouring water in there. What's this called again? I already forgot. Oh, this? Yeah. Sour cream pound cake. Sour cream pound cake. Oh, yeah. And then over here, this is for Crystal mainly because she likes her deviled eggs, so that's happening. Stuffing's happening, but that's in the fridge. Already made. And then, yeah. Turkey's tomorrow, I'm assuming. Be jealous because that is delicious. Those look delicious. I cannot wait to eat. Everything looks so good. And I've tried taste of some stuff. Yeah. First piece of skin coming off. <laughs> there we go. The baby's still red. It looks delicious. So here's the grand finale. A bunch of deliciousness made by Wanda. And if you're wondering, oh, and James. Well, he did, you know, some stuff. <laughs> and if you're wondering where the skin is, <laughs> that would be on Brandy's plate. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Gross. See a whole cold hunk of butter? Gross. Just ate. Now I feel sick. I want to blame it on all sorts of things, but the only person I can really blame it on is me. This is me. Yep. I put the food on the fork and put it in my mouth. It's that simple. I tried um, catfish today for the first time and there was like pecan like crusted on it and 
um, I think honey I'm assuming and it was so good so I'll be getting that again one time because that was healthy and it was delicious secondly I tried grits today for the first time with uh, some cheese inside of it and that was also good so that's why I took a picture of you know a few things that I had today because it was some first experience stuff so yeah <laughs> just felt like letting you guys know it is that simple completely my girlfriend is making a salad for us Caesar salad it already came in that thing. It's the light Caesar, so healthier than the regular. I'm sure it'll taste good, but I'll let you guys know if this tastes good too. So here's the salad. I tried a bite and it's delicious. Here's that. Yes, we use paper plates. The Caesar. And that is delicious as well. For Half a bag of this was like 130 calories, so for half of that is 130, because it's a light dressing. And then for this serving itself was 3 something, let me see, 380, so for both is like 500 calories, and that's a lot of food for 500 calories. So um, normally our dinners are around that amount of calories so it worked out perfectly and I did try a bite of that and it is delicious as well so this is just a night when I had to cook myself all that for only 500 calories nah I think that's that's worth it in my book I mean it's my fault losing weight is really really hard when you're the type of person that turns to food for like comfort and when you're like addicted to it that pasta goes in front of your face and you can't help but spoon and fold it in your mouth you know what I mean just how just how it is obviously my weigh-in is on Monday and that's gonna be the scariest thing I've ever seen but I weighed in today and I was actually up three pounds I weighed in at 371.0 I can't even believe I can't even fathom I can't even expect I can't even I'm shocked that I am in the 370s again but I shouldn't be so shocked right I knew it was gonna happen I've been messing up on my diet very badly I don't know what is wrong with me yeah it's just it's not okay just had some leftover Thanksgiving food I'm not really following plan like I thought I would but Oh well. My girlfriend's mom doesn't feel like cooking tonight, and neither do I, to be honest. Um, so we're going to be ordering food. Normally when we order food, I get some fattening, some high calories, some really bad stuff. Um, I honestly think that if I get something healthy, that's awesome, but that's hard to do when you're ordering out. So if I get something not healthy, then I know that for the rest of the night, there's no need for me to eat, you know, an actual meal. I can have like a little salad or some carrots and stuff like that. That's just how I look at things. I think that moderation is key and if you don't moderate your food how is that a lifestyle you're just caging yourself in so as of right now i have no idea what i'm gonna order but we will wait and see so plans have changed um my girlfriend didn't want to order anything because she couldn't find anything healthier that she wanted and i kept telling her it doesn't matter if it's healthy In a way, I might have been a bad influence, I don't know, but I'm grateful for her because she was a good influence, so now I'm cooking. And I'm happy I'm cooking because, I mean, I was going to order a salad, but we all know salads from restaurants and whatnot still aren't healthy. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm grateful for her and that even though I was a little annoyed at the time, that she was able to get me to my senses and stuff like that. 
So I made carrots with like a vinaigrette sauce and almond. I made a healthy mashed potatoes and I made salmon with some pesto on it. And so this is my weigh in. So obviously I'm going to talk about if I succeeded at my goals, if I, um, uh, how much I lost, sorry. Um, and then I'll talk about what goals I want to do this week and stuff like that. On Monday, I said, weigh in on Thursday, doing that. I want to lose three pounds from Monday to Thursday. And I don't want to eat anything that'll make me feel guilty. I guess I'm cooking again tonight for Crystal and I. Her mom's been having appointments and whatnot, and she doesn't feel like cooking, so. They're gonna um, get Subway, and Crystal doesn't really like healthy Subway. It makes her stomach hurt for some reason, like when it's just like turkey and mustard and like lettuce and stuff. I don't know why, because I think it's delicious, but um, I just figured I'd cook us something. Make an onion to put in my food. I honestly love cooked onion. It is so good. And that's pepper, by the way. Yeah. Caramelized onions are the best. Literally the best. And when you're on Weight Watchers, that's zero points. But I'm not doing Weight Watchers. So, I guess there's no reason for me to say that. But still, I mean, it's just a vegetable and it tastes so freaking good. I just don't get it. So now what I did is just added the leftover garbanzo beans that I didn't use earlier. And some corn and I mixed it all together and over here I'm making the tiniest bit of pasta like it's not even a serving and I'm gonna split it between my girlfriend and I I'm gonna add some salsa the tiniest bit of some spicy ranch the tiniest bit of cheese and just you know little pieces of chicken I honestly love this chicken it tastes so good so I'm gonna mix that all together and see how it comes out this is the um pasta that I'm using it's a healthy pasta healthy harvest all natural 100% whole grain this is the nutrition yeah pasta's pasta though when you think about it but still at least it's like a healthier version so it's finished I mean there's a lot of food for the both of us because I added the Carbonzo beans and the corn, it made it like, volumized it. Ready? Go. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's a healthy version of my really not healthy version of a Mexican pasta type of deal. Here it is again. Don't eat anything that'll make you feel guilty. Did I succeed at that? I would like to say I did. I actually did. Yeah, and now we're gonna go out to eat some to some Mexican restaurant, so you know how that's gonna go. I really don't think I'm gonna be counting calories or watching what I eat today. And I'm just admitting it right now, out in the open, that there are days when I do mess up and today is gonna be one of them. And I've been doing really really good these past few days um i know for some people it's coming natural and they're doing just fantastic i don't want anyone to be upset with me because i'm not upset with myself because i'm a normal person and if anyone thinks i'm dieting half ass it's not true it's really not i feel like i'm doing really good and just sometimes I like to spend a day where I'm not worried about what I eat all the time because that's what makes me want to binge is if I close myself in a cage if that makes sense. So I just wanted to let you guys know that is where I'm going. I have such a strong food addiction that um, even one day of successfully having a normal eating lifestyle, it's a big victory for me and I don't want anyone to take that from me. Oh, I didn't get my ice cream. That's first of all because I didn't have it. But I did get Starbucks and I got a um, 
pumpkin spice cream thing and it was like the middle size and I legit only drink like five drinks and I felt sick because of the Mexican food so I didn't drink it. Everyone is different and I feel like these last few days I just I need a celebration and the celebration is gonna be internal. I know this sounds absolutely insane but I'm so happy. I'm just so happy because I was able to do this without counting calories, without restricting myself too hard. I mean, I'm doing a lot better. I'm eating more vegetables, salads, and stuff like that. So I'm proud of myself. We also got out of Walmart, or that's where we went grocery shopping. I did a lot better. I got healthy foods and this and that. So I'm proud of that. My next goal was to lose three pounds. I weighed in at... On Monday, I weighed in at 371.0. Today, <laughs> sorry, I can't help but smile. Today, I weighed in at 366.6. That is down 4.4 pounds since Monday. Please, please clap, do it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really proud. I, um... When I set the goal for three pounds, I honestly was not expecting to make it, honestly. I really, truly wasn't. Um, lately, I've been just in, like, a place where food is all I want, and I just can't get enough, and... Uh, I just thought I'd say that I'm having a, um, problem with wanting a Ben & Jerry's ice cream for a while now. Every time I've gone to the store, I've gotten one because I haven't really been caring too hardcore about my um, diet and stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Like, am I going to get the ice cream? Am I not going to get it? I mean, I feel like everything in moderation. I'm not saying that a pint of Ben & Jerry's is moderation, but I am saying that it's one time gonna be tonight and I feel like if I'm good all day long I don't know I just have I'm just having an issue right now I'm trying my hardest to have willpower that is strong we had Mexican food around noon yesterday and then at like 10 at night we had McDonald's that's all I ate throughout the day but Last night, um, I ate all the food that I was planned throughout the day, and I wanted more. I mean, I wanted it so badly, and I was sitting right next to the kitchen. I even told my girlfriend, I'm having some strong willpower right now because I didn't eat it. I didn't grab it, and that's just what I need to continue doing. I just need to be strong, and it's possible. I've done it before. That's a lot of sodium, and my body does not handle sodium very well. I get swollen in certain areas, and it's just, yeah. I feel like if I just keep going how I'm going, even if the weight starts coming off slower, at least it's coming off. My weight loss goals for this week. I want to be down five pounds. I know that's a lot to ask for, but I know I can do it. I'm very heavy, so weight should come off easy. I want to do 10 minutes on the elliptical for seven days in a row. So here I am on the elliptical in the garage. 10 minutes. That's it for seven days in a row. You have to start somewhere. So, the reason why I choose the elliptical is because people tell me, since I have a bad back, that it can help me. So, I'm going to take their advice and use the elliptical and do it like that. And plus, Crystal's parents did get it with me in mind. And I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate them. And that's very kind of them to do. So, I want to take advantage and use it. And here I go. I did it! Yay! <laughs> I'm exhausted now, that's for sure. 
Um, the reason why I say 10 minutes is because I did see a doctor um, about the elliptical and how fast I should be going and how soon and this and that. And he did tell me that um, going too fast too soon on the elliptical for someone my weight and who isn't used to exercise, that it could be very, very dangerous for me to start off like super hard because that's what I was doing um like five months ago and I was feeling weird after my workout so that's why I asked the doctor and had him explain to me and he told me I need to start slower so that is what I'm gonna do so I kind of just wanted to get on document like my first day of the seven days of the elliptical I'm not gonna be filming that every day because then when I do my weigh-in you guys wouldn't know if I succeeded at my goal or not so I will not be filming every day that I do my exercise because that's going to be a secret. I haven't done the elliptical since I planned on doing it. I'm going to be doing 10 minutes on the elliptical, 7 days a row, and I'm not going to be pushing myself. I'm just going to, you know, casually go. I did it today, and with my casually going, I still sweated. So that is what matters. My heart was beating. I was beating faster. I was breathing harder and stuff like that. So that's what matters. As for the elliptical, I just, I don't think I'm going to be doing it this week. And I know a lot of you are, you know, supporting me or whatever, but I just, I'm not in it right now and it makes me sad. Um, coming Thursday, I think I might stop making goals for myself because, um, I don't know, it's just, it's pointless in a way. Your guys' support is helping me. Every view I get helps me. Every like, every subscriber. These last few days, I've had somebody comment me very rudely and harshly on my channel. Um, the comments are now deleted, so that's a plus. But they were harsh. Um, they were very rude and for a moment I really really truly was gonna delete my YouTube channel I want to thank all of you for being here for me and helping me when I have the same goal as I did this week um, don't eat anything that'll make you feel guilty and if I do eat something that might be something I shouldn't have I'm gonna try my hardest not to beat myself up and just turn around and do what I can right afterwards because when you beat yourself down, that's kind of what makes you overeat more, at least for me. This is a mini coconut macaroon ice cream by Hagen dazs for 260 calories. Yes, it's not the greatest for you, but if you need yourself some ice cream and... You want just a serving. I recommend these little mini things. I already took a bite. This is by far my favorite ice cream in the world. You need, need to try this. How do I say it? I just need to smack myself in the face pretty much. For a little snack, I'm having this little Lunchable. It has turkey in it, mozzarella, and mini Ritz. And guess what? This is only 130 calories. That's not bad. So this is what the Lunchable looks like on the inside. For only 130 calories? That looks like a lot of food. I mean, to me, for a snack, that's not too bad. Anyone want a sandwich? This is my weigh-in video. I've been having a lot of issues with saying no to certain foods. I've been having a lot of issues with eating when I'm not even hungry. Before anyone judges me, please, before anyone judges me, um, I'm not perfect. That is why I am the weight I am. Um, nobody's perfect, actually. Um... I'm not saying that you all have flaws, um, but when you look at yourself in the mirror, whether it's physical or internal, there is always something that you want to perfect, but perfected, 
perfection is not um, normal. Perfection is not real. As much as I want to be perfect, it's just not going to happen. And as much as you guys look at me and think I can do anything, I really can't. December is rough. Um, I'm having major issues because it's the holidays. Um, I'm starting my YouTube channel in the middle of the holidays. That's crazy to me. I feel like if it was any other time, I'm not making excuses, but I feel like if it was any other time, I would be rocking these weigh-ins to the best of my ability and making you guys proud of me. Um, but it is the holidays and there's food around that normally isn't and I am eating it when I shouldn't be. I recommend these. They're very good. For 17 crackers, it's 130 calories. And I go through my breakfast and my lunch beautifully. I make wonderful meals for Crystal and I. And then for some reason when dinner comes along, when Crystal's mom cooks, I tend to eat more than I should. And then snack time comes along after that and I eat a lot more than I should. So this is one of my favorite snacks to make and sometimes I actually mix this inside of um couscous. I'm just really bad when it comes to food obviously. I wouldn't have ever weighed in at 420 if I was some kind of person who wasn't addicted to food but I am addicted to food and more than anything I wish I wasn't. Amy's TV dinner that I talked about before. This one has vegetables, rice, dal, I have no idea. But it's pretty much just organic vegetables and rice and OMG. It is so good. How many calories is this one? It's 310 calories and it's really good. I love Amy's TV dinners. So I did my weigh-in and um, I was up 2.8. You guys probably are getting frustrated with me, maybe. I don't know. Because every time I weigh in, I'm, like, not losing. Yes, I have before, but... <sighs> I just feel like I'm letting everybody down, including myself. And I just... I don't know what to do. Like, I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm so robotic. Like, I'm not even in control of my own self. I'm having a skinny cow truffle type of thing ice cream <laughs> for 100 calories I'm thinking of making daily weigh-in videos just for this week and see how that goes so this is gonna be my first weigh-in for this week and I'm gonna do this until Thursday next Thursday not tomorrow <laughs> but my weigh-in <laughs> monkey <laughs> my weigh-in for today was 369.4 so that's what I was today, and I'll let you guys know what I am tomorrow. You know what I notice when I go back and watch my videos? When I first wake up, I'm so swollen right here, right here. My cheeks are puffy. It's so weird. I've noticed that when I go back and watch my videos. But I'm about to make an omelet for the first time ever. So I'll keep you guys posted on how well I do. All that's in here is... Um, a little bit of cheese, onion, salt, pepper, a little bit of chicken, some bacon bit. And I think that's it. But I successfully, successfully <laughs> cooked the um, egg and that's what I was worried about. I did that really good. But um, yeah, this isn't a traditional omelet. I just thought I'd do it like this. Me and my girlfriend are cutting this in half. So I'm not eating that whole thing. So don't worry. But um, yeah, so that's how it turned out. That's after I cut it in half and put some salsa on it. That's a pretty good amount if you ask me. So I'm about to try it. There you go. I took a bite and it is so good. I think I will definitely make this again. And if we're looking at calories for half of this, it's probably 200. So definitely worth it. This is my uh, <clears throat> daily weigh in as I promised. Um... I'm a little confused by my weigh in today. Um, 
I was, yesterday I weighed, so confusing so many numbers, okay, yesterday I weighed <laughs> three... 69.4 today I weighed in at 369.2 I was only down 0.2 um I think what confuses me the most is that my girlfriend was down 0.8 what confuses me is the fact that I'm a lot bigger than her um she's tall and she looks smaller than her weight if that makes sense but um I am a lot bigger than her I'm sure you guys have seen that in videos and everything else but I mean, I'm like bigger than her by like 150 pounds. I don't even know. I have messed up my body so much that I can no longer be down a really big weight unless I literally ate like 1,200 calories a day. And honestly, I can't do that yet. It's too soon to eat 1,200 calories a day. I will mess up my metabolism so bad if I did that. But yeah, so I'm just going to have less for a snacky boo. And this, even though this is like a meal replacement, whoever eats this as a meal, I'm sorry, but you are not getting the right food in your system, just saying. <laughs> My girlfriend, no offense to her, literally ate like half of a, um, you know, one of those chocolate bunnies. Those are gigantic. And not only did she have it, but she had like peanut butter with it. And I mean... We had a lot of food that day, a lot of chocolates, just a lot of food in general. Like, I think her mom made, like, a big dinner and everything. I mean, I could easily say that she consumed over 5,000 calories, and so did I. So did we all. The next day, she was down 1.4. I was like, huh? What? We stepped on, she stepped on that scale thousands of times and she was down 1.4. So what we were thinking was, okay, the next day she's going to step on the scale and it's going to show the gain. She was down again. And I was just like, what? Like, you know, this just shows sometimes the body just does what it wants to do. You could be retaining water sometimes. You could, um... I honestly just don't know. I'm not a scientist or a body scientist. It's a breakfast Belvita soft bake oats and chocolate. It's a nutritious morning energy type of little goodie. It's 20% daily fiber, 7G fat per serving, 200 calories. These are so delicious, honestly. Like, there's certain foods that make me feel like a comfort, and this is one of them. I know that's what made me fat, is comfort foods, but when there's a healthy comfort food, I mean, that's amazing, right? So, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. The inside, I mean, on camera, it doesn't look like the greatest, but oh my god, it is so good. There's like chocolate chips and stuff like that, and it's soft. So it's not like hard. It's very soft. It's like a chocolate chip cookie, but I think even softer than that. I definitely recommend it. I got it at Walmart, so I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere. But yes, I definitely recommend this. Okay. Yesterday my weigh-in was 369.2. Today I weighed in at 368.2, so I was down a pound in total. Um, I'm very happy with that. I've been thinking long and hard about this. I've been thinking instead of doing like a weekly weigh-in, I might stop those completely. And any time that I weigh in, I think I'm just going to make a video for you guys and tell you how that went. I think that'll be easier for me instead of doing random weigh-ins, daily weigh-ins, and then weekly weigh-ins because sometimes I don't weigh in weekly, sometimes I don't weigh in daily, sometimes I wait a few days, sometimes I don't, you know, it's just, it changes all the time for me. Um, sometimes if I know the day before I did something a little bad per se, I won't weigh in the next day, but I feel like, um, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I might just start doing, you know, random weigh-ins on here and... I'll keep you guys posted on what my last weight was, when that was, and um, how much I've lost in total. I just got back from the grocery store. 
<sighs> I got some hot chocolate. I got the kind where you use water, so I don't have to use milk, which would just be extra calories, but um... Wait, now that I think of it, is there even a kind where you need milk? I have no idea. I haven't had hot chocolate literally. I want to say in over 10 years. Like, that's pathetic. <laughs> So this was my dinner. It was a spinach salad with my balsamic vinaigrette, bacon bits, feta cheese, and green olives. It is absolutely delicious. I love this dressing so much. If you have a Walmart, look for it. It's by the spinach and that type of stuff. And I also have a chimichanga. It's an all natural. It's like mini minimally processed and it's really good and only 290 calories. So this is my snack. Those are sesame seeds, honey flavored, and some wasabi peas down at the bottom. It's just a little cup. It looks big, but it's really not. Trust me. <laughs> and then some hot chocolate. For a few years now, I've had like the tiniest tooth growing in. And it hurts so bad. I just wanted to cry and cry and cry. I've already had a hot chocolate today, but... I've heard that warm stuff helps with toothaches and not only that, but I'm really liking hot chocolate lately. I did not weigh in yesterday mainly because my tooth was hurting so bad I literally did not want to do anything. And then once my tooth started feeling better, obviously I ate and this and that so I didn't want to do a weigh in. I weighed in today and when I saw the scale, I wasn't going to do a weigh-in video. I'm being 100% honest right now. I was not going to do a weigh-in video. I was ashamed. I was disgusted. I'm shocked. I'm... I feel like I just... I don't have control over myself anymore. And it's scaring me so bad. My girlfriend and I just got done with our lunch. And... Right here is like our snack section, kind of. If you saw that medicine, that's for my bag. No, I don't think I showed you. Okay, anyways. And I got this yesterday because it was something different. I love lemon favor flavor desserts. And I was actually looking for like an almond thin thing. But then I saw this thin cookie. And I was like, hmm. So... I decided to get it and we just tried one because the calories are 140 calories for seven cookies. We were expecting the cookies to kind of be like this, like this big, because inside of the package, that's how it kind of looked. So since that's how it looked, we were thinking the calories weren't really worth it, but it's something special we can have together, like a treat and da da da. So we open the package and this is what we see. Look how big those are. Like we were expecting like little itty bitty things and they're actually gigantic. And when I say thin, we're definitely talking thin. I mean, they're so cute. So each one of these is only 20 calories. But don't get any better than that. Okay, anyways, so we both tried it and it is delicious. The brand is World Table Lemon Cookie Thins. And if you are tracking calories, if each cookie, yeah, it's thin, but if each cookie is 20 calories, I feel like it's totally worth it. And if you like cookies, you like lemon, then I definitely suggest getting this. I told myself that it's December. It's holidays it's almost the end of the year so don't beat yourself up but I'm getting so much weight that I can't help but beat myself up I'm about to film a confession I am obsessed with the salad I make I literally could eat this every single meal every single day 
like I just don't even know what to do with myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each ingredient that I use with the container. So in case you guys want to try this because I I am in heaven when I'm eating this salad. Like I don't I don't even know how to express the love I have for it. And it's healthy, like a healthy salad that I am in love with. Now that's the way to go. So I'm going to show you each and every item I used and the brand and where I got it in case you guys want to try it. So this is the lettuce slash spinach salad stuff I use. Um, it's market side organic baby spinach and it is from Walmart. So I put this in the bowl and then I use market side balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I am obsessed with this you guys. It is the best dressing I have ever tasted in my life. I also got this at Walmart and when you go to look for it, it is not by the dressings where you typically find it because it is natural. So you will find this over by the lettuce and the spinach, by the fruits and the vegetables. So that is where you'll find this. It is so good. I cannot even get over it. Like, it is the best invention when it comes to a dressing I have ever even tasted in my life. <laughs> and the fact that it's healthy and all natural is insane to me. Because it tastes so unhealthy. <laughs> and then I use Harmel Real Baking Bits. I got this from Walmart. But I am so positive that you can find that pretty much anywhere. <laughs> so after I add this, I add this. And then I add this. It is feta cheese. You can use any feta cheese. This is just traditional. I feel like the traditional and the low fat tastes exactly the same so if you wanted to get low fat you could do that but I find that feta cheese has the best taste when it comes to cheese and it goes perfectly with this stuff and really you don't even need a lot to get you know far in your salad and then on the on the um at the end <laughs> to top it all off I do add a few green olives. I also got these things at Walmart. Everything I got from Walmart. Um, you don't have to add the green wallet, uh, walnuts. Because I was looking over there. <laughs> you don't have to add the green olives. My girlfriend doesn't. So what she does is she adds these. Which she also got from Walmart. They are salad pizzazz. Asian cashew, cashew medley. I would use this as well because it's delicious. But I use this instead because... I love green olives. She doesn't. And yeah, Smokey. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> so that is what I put. <clears throat> all these things. And they, it is just, it is heaven. And if you guys want to know calories, I guess I could do that real quick. Even though this doesn't really matter. Um, for this whole container is 35 calories. Me and my girlfriend split this twice, so yeah, about that. <laughs> and then for two tablespoons of this, it is 110 calories, but you don't even need two tablespoons. I'm telling you that right now. For the bacon bits, one tablespoon is 25 calories. For this, um... One fourth a cup is 70 calories. I don't think you'll need one fourth of a cup. I don't use one fourth of a cup. So, and then for the olives, it is five olives for 25 calories. And then for this, it is one tablespoon for 35 calories. And if you were to add it all up and you used every single item on here, and you used a serving of it all, including this gigantic thing. I'm about to do this real time in my head, so this might get scary. <laughs> so 35 plus 110 is 145, plus 25 is 160. No, no, that's embarrassing. I think it's 170. Sorry about that. And then for a serving of this, 
which is 70, I think is going to be 240. And then plus another 25 is going to be 265. And if you wanted to use these as well, 35, 265, it is going to be 295 for the biggest salad of your life. And you will enjoy every single bite. If you like all of these items and you put them all in a bowl and mix them around to heaven, I think you will thank me later on, I must say. I'm just very let down in myself. I'm sure all of y'all are gonna unfollow me, unsubscribe. Over 3,000 views, but look at that. You guys, 100 subscribers, for me, that is like, that means so much to me that 100 of you want to watch my videos and it just means a lot. You guys have no idea and I appreciate every single one of you and I am just so thrilled that I have 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You guys are gonna be like, this girl's making no progress. I wouldn't blame you. I would not blame you. Before I actually get to my weigh-in, I want to make something very clear. This person coming at me is saying I'm making nothing but excuses, asking why I even do weigh-in videos. I did tell each and every single one of you that I will be filming a weigh-in video every single time I weigh in, whether I'm trying to lose weight whether I'm trying to maintain my weight, whether I gain weight, whether I lose weight, whether I stay the same, I will film a video whenever I step on the scale. Hmm. I don't want anyone to be let down. I stayed the same yet again, 371.6, and I'm happy with that because I'm not failing, I am not gaining, and that's exactly what I wanted. I felt like I needed to just make that clear to everybody that for these next two weeks, I am not, like, trying to lose weight. Allowing myself that leg room before 2014 comes along, I think my success in 2014 will be a lot stronger. Once 2014 comes along, I will be counting calories. I suck at counting calories, meaning I normally stop, but I'm good at doing it. I can eyeball something and know exactly how many calories. Today is my weigh-in yet again. I'm doing it randomly, like I said. So far, I've done it like, I don't know, four days in a row. Um. So first of all, I want to say that I apologize for whoever had to watch my video yesterday of 10 minutes of me ranting and raving and venting and expressing myself. Okay, I should probably stop. This is going on 10 minutes. I wasn't upset at anybody in particular. If this person is watching this, I want to let you know I am not failing and I'm looking at you right now. Yesterday I weighed in at 371.6, today I weighed in at 369.4, so that's down 2.2 pounds in one day. I'm very proud of my 2.2 weight loss. Why is this not focusing good? It's weird. The meatball kind of tasted like it would be in a TV dinner. I don't know, I mean it was good. I'm sure you'd like it. We're ordering from Padrino, Padrino's V. And yeah, so that's what we're eating today. Oh, there we go. Now we can see it better. Let's show them what I'm getting. Where is it? Uh -huh. Where is it? <laughs> oh. Baked dinners, lasagna with meat and cheese, and it comes with garlic bread and salad, cause that's healthy. I'm getting so many positive words from you guys, whether it's in my comments, or a private message, or a private message on my fitness pal, or anything like that, and you guys really enjoy my videos, and I'm just like so surprised when I first started this channel I honestly thought that nobody was really gonna care about my life and my videos and what I had to say like I am so beyond blessed anyways dang I look pale I just woke up and you can definitely tell I definitely look a little different when I first wake up I think I'm gonna go downstairs and eat something Yum. Crystal, what are you 
have done it. Anyways, this is me not hiding it. Um, I guess I'll start with this. This is just like an undershirt. So I put underneath my white shirt, which is like a frilly thing. So that's that. Um, and I'm just wearing red shoes to match the green and red theme and sweatpants. Yeah. 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 We are exhausted. In two days, we slept like six hours. Crazy. I did sleep with my makeup on, as you can probably tell, but like, this part comes off in my sleep, so that was kind of funny. Anyways, I'm just making breakfast. A very big breakfast, but it's like healthy. It's like lots of corn and onion and stuff like that with some egg and salsa, da da da. Typical stuff. <sighs> we decided we're gonna take a nap. I'm looking scary right now. <laughs> but um I never take naps, so I must be tired, right? <laughs> So we're gonna take a nap, I'm gonna set my alarm and see you guys when I wake up. So I just woke up from my nap. Yeah, I'm lazy and I can admit that, but today feels like a whole different level. Like I just don't wanna do anything. Just talking is a lot of work. Like I'm used to like not walking that much and yesterday I literally walked for like eight hours straight non-stop I sat like twice I mean especially for someone my weight yeah so today my feet are like swollen they hurt it kind of just shows like that I am out of shape I mean everyone's feet hurts today even even my girlfriend's feet even my girlfriend's parents feet so well I know her mom's feet hurts because she was mentioning that and she's she's pretty um I wouldn't say in shape because when I think of like in shape, I think of like an athlete, but she's not like out of shape at all. So, um, anyways. Happy Christmas Eve. If you don't celebrate it, then happy December 24th. <laughs> I literally just woke up. You guys can tell my I'm swollen when I wake up. I don't know why. I have no idea what I'm doing today. We might decorate gingerbread cookies, brandies, crystals, mine. They look good. Um. I hope everyone had a great Christmas Eve today. Um, I did. I spent it with my girlfriend, of course, and her parents and um, uh, her sister. And we played board games most of the day. And we ate, like, half sauces. No, not really. I'm just joking. <laughs> we definitely ate more than... You know, we normally do, and today wasn't even Christmas dinner, so that's tomorrow. So, that's that. I don't care. I keep saying that. 2014's coming, and that's all I'm saying about that. <laughs> I just woke up, as you can tell. I always say that. <laughs> it's Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have a great day. And, um, yeah. I cannot believe... <laughs> This is the last vlogmas. I am like shocked. Um, first of all, I can't believe I did it for 25 days. I honestly, when I first started, I thought I wasn't gonna do it for 25 days. Um, that's just me being honest. I thought I'd do it for a week and I'd think it was too hard. I mean, it is hard. It really is to film all day and then at the end of the night to 
put it together, edit it, export it, upload it, edit it again. It's, <laughs> it's a process and <laughs> it takes a lot of time out of the day, but I enjoy doing it and that's what matters. I love making videos for you guys. I love the fact that you guys watch them. I appreciate it so much. You guys have no idea. <laughs> so here is the ending to Vlogmas 2013. I will definitely do it next year. There is no doubt about it. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a positive thing in my life and your guys' support helped me push through it and every minute of it was worth it. And I appreciate every single one of you for sticking along and watching my life. So I appreciate it and I hope you guys continue being subscribed to my channel because, you know, there will be things going on. I have stuff in my head, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> this is leftovers from yesterday. I have stuffing, gravy, potatoes, turkey, and feta. Feta. I put feta on everything. It's ridiculous. But this is my leftover goulash I made. My girlfriend actually did it like normal. But, um, yeah. And it's very, very good. Pumpkin cake roll. Crystal's dad got this today. Look how tasty. So we're gonna get a piece. Quiet over there. So we're gonna get a piece and tell you how it tastes. So here is my girlfriend's piece and my piece. I think it's pretty looking, don't ask why. So, here we go. We're gonna try it at the same time. Obviously, Crystal's not gonna show herself because Make sure you get someone like that part with it. Okay. What are you doing? They're gonna think I was doing that. Okay, so ready? It looks gigantic on the screen. <laughs> Wait until you see what that looks like. <laughs> Do you see mine? Okay, back to business. Mm -hmm. They look so big. Okay, let's go. Ready, go. delicious. I love pumpkin. And that cream in the middle is bomb diggity. So I think you guys should leave me alone with this. Bye. Today is my birthday. I am 23 and that is crazy. Anyways, so I just woke up. I got in the shower, did my jasmine braid as fast as I could. I don't really care how it looks. Gonna do just the tiniest bit of makeup while I watch Bold and the Beautiful. And then I think I'm going out to eat. Um, we were supposed to, we were, I was supposed to choose where I wanted to eat pretty much and I chose Red Lobster because I love their food there. And I know my girlfriend does too so it's gonna be me, my girlfriend, her mom, and her sister. We just got back from Red Lobster and I am legit like the bloatest bloat I've ever felt. Like I literally am like the biggest I've ever been I feel like even though I'm not but that's just how I feel right now and 
<sighs> we haven't eaten our sweet frog yet. We normally bring it home, put it in the freezer, and then we eat it later. So I'm about to eat my sweet frog. It has pumpkin pie, frozen yogurt. It has New York cheesecake frozen yogurt and cake batter frozen yogurt with pie crust crumblings. Twix crumblings and little piss piss <laughs> I better <laughs> say pieces okay wow. little pieces of um <laughs> uh cheesecake in it yum I'm going to my girlfriend's dad's stepsister's house and she's having like a little Christmas party, so that's where we're going today. Um, I was also going to show feta cheese along with this as one of my favorites, but we have no more, so I cannot show you. Another favorite of mine is this balsamic vinaigrette dressing that I got from Walmart. I am like obsessed with it. But this is an amazing, amazing, amazing dressing. For two tablespoons, it's 110 calories, but it's a healthy calorie. It's not um, like the bad calorie. I don't normally drink hot chocolate, but for the month of December, I got back into it. And I haven't had it in so long, years and years, but... I saw it at the store and had to get it, so the Swiss Miss Classics Marshmallow Hot Chocolate is definitely part of my December 2013 favorites. It is 90 calories for one. If you use water, it's purely 90 calories, but if you use milk, obviously it'll be more calories, but I feel like with water it tastes better and it's totally worth the 90 calories because it keeps you warm and it definitely, it, it definitely reminds you of this time of year because it is a hot drink. Right now I'm just about to have some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Don't tell anybody. And uh, watch some Bold and the Beautiful. Yeah. So today is New Year's Eve. Crazy, right? So tomorrow is 2014 and I'm like so shocked. 2013 went by so quickly like I don't even <laughs> I feel like just yesterday it was 2012 and 2011 like I just don't understand how this time is going by so quickly it is insane to me I just don't get it and it's kind of frustrating in a way because it's like when time goes by fast that means you just get older faster and opportunities pass you by and stuff like that so it's kind of sad but anyways let's look on the bright side and not think like that <laughs> now we have to get ready for our party slash get together for tonight crystal is making these for tonight it is a uh, what is this called a crescent roll mm -hmm. just a normal crescent roll see croissants and she wraps in those little pepperoni things uh, how many do you put in each one? Five. She puts in like five pepperonis. <laughs> All the stuff. But, um, yeah. Her dad thought of this one day. And now her and I really like it. She's making these for tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is one of the things that I like to make. It's not healthy whatsoever. But it's a multi-grain scoop chip. Inside of it is a dollop of spicy ranch. And on top of it is a combination pizza roll. And it looks weird, but it tastes so, so good. Trust me on that one. Pour it in the Hawaiian. Smoky. Shush. Pineapple. 
big block of frozen Hawaiian punch. Mm hmm. Smart thinking. And they just give them a little slop on it. Well, I tell you, it's hot standing over top of this damn dish. Are oh, you filming that, Marie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need a couple. I want them cut in pads. I only got one jar, too. Oh, there's some left over? Yeah, I got rid of them. That's smart. There's only a couple in there, one, like four. I don't want tissue that can't be eaten. Can It is officially 2014, January 1st, and I cannot believe it. I'm more so, like, scared of this year because I have given myself a very hard resolution, like a New Year's resolution, and I will be talking to you guys about that tomorrow, but anyways. Um... Bringing in the new year with people you care about is, I feel like, the most important thing. And I had Crystal by my side like I do now, and I appreciate it so much. And I wouldn't want to be with anybody else or near anybody else. <laughs> but, um, really, you guys, thank you so much. You guys have made the end of my year great because you guys follow me and are subscribed and want to see my life and I appreciate it so much and not only am I grateful for my girlfriend I'm grateful for you guys and I hope you guys have a great 2014 yeah we'll talk about resolutions tomorrow but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you aren't smiling smile bye, bye. <laughs>